Hi, thanks for joining. Today we're at the SS Moy in Caslow, British Columbia, which is the world's oldest fully intact passenger steamship. Let's go explore. Launched in 1898, the SS Moy started its service shuttling railway passengers across Kootenay Lake to the nearby towns of Nelson and Proctor. Costing $41,000 to construct in 1898, the Moy was almost 162 feet long and was licensed to carry 400 passengers or 250 passengers with freight. Since the Canadian Pacific Railway trains on the Crow's Nest line didn't include dining cars, this two-level ship was outfitted with both men's and women's saloons with the dining room separating them, as well as having a limited number of private cabins. Known as the Crowboat, it continued this service until 1906 when it was replaced by the SS Kushkanuk with the Moyi transitioning to carrying freight, taking excursions and other duties. After another 50 years of service in 1957, the Moyi was retired and sold to the city of Caslow for one dollar. There she was brought ashore serving as a historic site and museum and is preserved as the world's oldest known intact vessel of her type. Where this stay on the lake would mark the end of an era. Whistle resonating through the mountains of Canada's western Kootenay region, the steam powered stern wheeler known as the SS Moye embarked on her final run, serving the many shoreside communities along the vast Kootenay Lake. In the 1930s, after the Crow's Nest rail line was completed by the Canadian Pacific Railway, it began to retire much of its lake going fleet. And by the 1950s, Improved highway connections made it possible to retire the last of their sternwheelers. It says this is the firebox where coal was burned to generate steam to run the engines. This is cool, this is a fire cart from the Caslow Fire Department. And fire buckets from the Moyi. Old fruit boxes, a lot of fruit being shipped around at those times. Here's the galley where meals would be prepared for passengers. And a sample menu from 1904. Clam chowder, boiled codfish and shrimp, corned beef and cabbage, a chicken platter, roast, pretty good variety actually, mashed and boiled potatoes, and a deep apple pie for dessert. This would turn the steam power into electricity to power the entire ship. And that's a real dynamo. Here's the port engine and the giant pistons that would power the stern wheeler. Some bunks for those living and working on the ship. Here's an old 1919 Ford Model TT, produced around the same time as the Model T passenger cars. Here's the express room, where they kept all of the parcels and mail that were being delivered. Head on up to the top decks. At the front of the ship, the smoking cabin, which is currently under restoration. Working hard.
Take a peek into the ladies' cabin. elegant. guess if you got a longer journey, you might as well do a little bit of gambling, play some poker. The steward's room. Hard to imagine they fit four people living in here. Especially with a spittoon and a chamber pot. The ladies' staterooms, a little bit more elegant. And kids love the moyi too. Serving room filled with delicious pastries and tea. Here's something intriguing, the bar. This is kind of interesting. It says that people used to use different items to prop open the windows and they would fall into the window well. And then during renovations years later, these items were fished out of the window well. Everything from old Canadian Pacific Railway brochures dated 1898. Lots of old chewing gum and cigarette packages, comic books. A knife, goggles. Kind of an interesting snapshot of what was keeping people entertained at the time. Here's an old miner's cabin like one of many in the area. This one was built around 1906. And they've saved the Mirror Lake post office up there. Today the Moyi sits on the main street in Caslow, right near the waterfront, overlooking the Kootenai Lake which it once navigated. And the Moyi was officially designated a National Historic Site of Canada in 1958. And thanks for joining, remember to keep exploring and until next time it's time to exit through the gift shop.